With the 8 o'clock update, Hurricane Aaron is still a Category 3 storm, getting closer to the Turks and Caicos with a newly defined eye. Thankfully, it's moving towards the west-northwest, so we're not expecting a landfall for the Turks and Caicos, but we are expecting tropical storm force winds for the Turks and Caicos for later tonight. And we're also expecting Hurricane Aaron to gain strength and return to Category 4 strength by later tonight or by tomorrow early morning. And then by the middle of the week, it should go back into a Category 3 storm and then eventually weaken into a Category 2 storm by the end of the week as it gets steered away from the continental United States. And the overall track from the National Hurricane Center has seen mi minimal changes. We've seen it get nudged a little bit towards the west, but overall the path has a storm missing the continental United States and going in between the island of Bermuda and the Carolina coast. Now, once again, the models, the GFS and the Euro models are in agreement with this path, but it shows that the outer banks could see some rain through the outer bands of the storm, and we could see some indirect impacts from Aaron as well along the Atlantic coast. So we could see high surf and strong rip currents for the majority of the week. And then for the island of Bermuda, could see some gusty winds and increased rainfall as well. Now there is one area of development that we are watching. So this is an area off of the central Atlantic basin and it has a 40% chance of development in the next seven days. Now it's due to a tropical wave off of the Cabo Verde Islands that's forecasted to move westward into an area that's highly conducive for development. And the National Hurricane Center has said that this tropical wave has the potential to become a tropical depression by the later portions of the week. So we'll keep a close eye on this area as we enter the work week.